Well, this is Dizna15, and welcome back to another episode of the Late Night Hero series, where we spotlight a different playable hero within Heroes of the Storm for each episode. Today, we'll be taking a look at Johanna, the Crusader of Zakarum, a melee warrior. Johanna is a warrior that manipulates the battlefield, utilizing her abilities to disable enemies and control the ebb and flow of combat. She's an imposing tank that can sustain incredible damage and generate a significant amount of hate targeted at her throughout a fight. Her greatest weakness is low ability damage output. She is unable to effectively duel when not accompanied by allies, and if, during an engagement, she falls behind her opponent's health pool, she can prevent roots and snares with her trait, but has no escape ability to outrun anyone. So let's take a look at those abilities in the selection screen, and then we'll focus on talents, tactics, and gameplay during a quick match. Her Q is punished. This will deal a moderate amount of damage, but its primary function is to slow enemies by 60%. Now this is not 60% constantly, it will decay over 2 seconds. It has a small frontal um, or directed uh, ability and it doesn't do a full area of effect. That's what her W does, which is condemn. This actually pulls all enemies within a circumferential area of effect towards her, so anywhere within a small area uh, surrounding her when used will pull to people towards her. Uh, this will stun them for a quarter second and deal a small amount of damage, but again, it's her primary ability to move people around the map. So if you are able to center yourself within a group of enemies, you can pull them all towards you and then effectively uh, combat them or focus them uh, for your allies to attack. This can be used in great or in devastating effect when uh, accompanied by punish. So if you pull everyone towards you, punish the most concentrated area, you will actually focus them slow their abilities down so if you could imagine someone like Jaina dropping a, a blizzard on top of them you could effectively get two hits over one solid area it has to be uh, fairly well coordinated but it is attainable uh, particularly towards more competitive styles her E is shield glare this will deal a moderate amount of damage and a conal uh, ability uh, that will allow your or sorry prevent your enemies from um, hitting with basic attacks for one and a half seconds this is a great way to poke uh, sort of uh, gauge any um, uh, brush or um, uh, hidden areas to uh, see if there's any cloaked or um, uh, enemies waiting to ambush. And also there's a small amount of poke. Uh, you can use it to kind of fight or pass um, enemy minions so you don't necessarily have to engage with her melee abilities. All in all it's a great tool to kind of use as an extra ability uh, it's hard to kind of concentrate a large group of people uh, within the shield glare, but you can do it, uh, especially towards the end when it's all group fights. Her trait is Iron Skin. Uh, this will allow her to absorb a significant amount of damage over the course of four seconds. It gives her a shield, as well as allows her to become immune to stuns, roots, and snares, so she can move a lot more freely. Um, and it's a great tool to use that allows her to really kind of push past those abilities and stay in front of a fight or to prevent her from falling too far behind. It's kind of her escape ability but again it doesn't actually make her move any faster um, uh, than her opponents do. Her first heroic ability is Falling Sword. This will allow you to leap into the air and after two seconds you'll land dealing a, a significant amount of damage to all enemies within the area and then briefly interrupting their um, current casts or channels. This can be used to move offensively as well as defensively so if you're in a, uh, a losing engagement you're probably you may be the last person left you can actually use this to move um, across a barrier or a ridge and then escape um, but it's also a great way to kind of disrupt a fight so if you're about three quarters to half health you're kind of in the middle of a fight everyone's concentrating you as, on you as a tank you can use this to hop into the air have a reprieve for two seconds and then when everyone who has been targeting you <coughs> excuse me, also notices that you're gone and then they see that glowing area to where you're going to land, they will A, not attack your uh, allies, and B, they will try and scatter. They will try and run away from the uh, uh, actual area that you're going to land on. The good thing about this as opposed to say ETC's stage dive is this can actually be moved. So as people start to scatter, you can kind of chase them a little bit. It also gives you a little bit more range, so if you put this to the maximum range that it gives you, you can continue to move it towards your target just a little bit more. You're not going to be able to move you know, uh, all the way across the map, but you can move a little bit uh, more than what's actually uh, shown on the um, uh, overlay that's given to you. 
This is, I believe, at least I tend to use it as my default for my heroic ability choice. Um, but when you go with the other heroic blessed shield, this will actually stun uh, the enemies that you um, hit with it. Now it stuns any enemy that you hit. So if you hit minions, uh, mercenaries, or heroes, it will stun them. It does a moderate to uh, high amount of damage, uh, and it will stun them for two seconds and then bounce to two nearby targets, and also stunning them as well. You need to use this in an open area or a place where you won't have large group engagements within lanes, because otherwise your the enemy minions uh, will absorb some of those hits, and then it's just kind of lost on them. It does have a slightly lower cooldown as compared to Falling Sword, and then if buffed towards the end at the level 20 talents, you can get a few more um, hits out of it. Uh, but it's a, a great way if you have a lot of casters to try and keep them mitigated. But you had to have a clear shot, or at least have a, a clear path to have it bounce to them to interrupt them. So overall, I think she's an excellent tank that can make a, a large target for enemies to focus on. Her greatest strength is her ability to alter her foe's targeting um, focus and then affect their mobility as well. She won't be able to you know, effectively 1v1 most other heroes without a level advantage, but that's not her role. She simply has to outlast everyone else to allow her teammates to do the dirty work. Now let's hop into a quick match and see what she can do. The crusade calls. And we're back in the Cursed Great Hollow. Running away from me. So, I think that when this one, particularly with how much has changed since the last patch, uh, we will focus a little bit less on. Uh, well, we will still explain the talents uh, in case Johanna doesn't change that much. But, uh, you know, especially when I did like my Brightwing patch, that thing is almost completely outdated now. Uh, just because, I mean, it's just. Whew! Yeah. I mean. It just, it, there's just nothing there that really sticks to what it used to be. So, we're going to try and see what we get out of this. For this, uh, we have uh, Rainer, Nova, Lili, myself as Johanna, and Illidan. So, we have a uh, nice distribution um, of uh, different uh, characters with different roles and abilities. Um, and then Zeratul, Sylvanas, Malfurion, another Johanna and a Rhaegar, so, okay. Let's head up here then, I guess that's where all the action's happening. So for the first one, um, for the first talent set, um, had the option of going either, my two big ones are either going to be, um, uh, going with Reinforce or Regeneration Master. I think that you can do either one of those. Oh, damn. Well, that's how you use that. Uh, reinforce is not a bad option to go with, I don't think, anyway. Uh, you can certainly use it to good or great effect. Um, for this one, I think I'm going to go Regeneration Master just because I like to have a little bit of extra uh, damage. Or, I'm sorry, be able to soak up just a little bit more. So, yeah, I, I just tend to like that one for her, you know, so I can kind of sneak out of the battle a little bit and hop back in. Uh, reinforce is not bad, but you know, you really have to have a lot of people around you to, to make it worth your while. And you can do that. You certainly can. But I, I tend to go with Regeneration Master as my default for this. Mm, damn it, I didn't get him. I, as I said before, I'm not a big fan of the Punish ability. I, I mean, you have to use it, but it's like, it's almost just a part of Condemn kind of lacks a lot of its luster and just because of how simple and for whatever reason my AK is not working all that great and then knight takes pawn which if you want to really crush through some uh, uh what's my head here some uh some minions go for it but it's kind of like eh. I, I find it somewhat lacking all right so we are at least ahead of that one Get her, get her, get her. Come on, Nova. Come on. Come on, Nova. Uh, damn it. Oh, well. That's okay. We have a distinct advantage to get the... the well, I still have a talent that I haven't used. Okay. Now, if I go with Regeneration Master, I stay away from the Laws of Hope. Just because, you know, eh. 
Yep, 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 we see him. We see him. Got him! Excellent. Good work, team. Go, team. Um, and I tend to go with Amplified Healing because it really starts to take off with your uh, Regeneration Master when, if you have a really solid healer. So Lily's not a bad option to go with for this one. Whee! Don't do any damage. Don't do any damage. Come on, stay away. Stay away from him. Stay away from him. Come on, Rhaegar. Ha 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 ha. Gotcha. And then blind them so they can't do no damage. And get her or him uncovered. No! Give me, give me my shield. Give me my shield. Ha ha, made it. Oh, damn it. Okay, so we got a heart back real quick. Um, could go Law of Hope if you go with your block ability. I don't think that's a, I think that's a good combo. So you either do Amplified Healing with Regeneration Master, or you go with Laws of Hope if you go with the, what is it, the block one. The Reinforce Roar, or in case you're punished damage, which you don't do jack anyway. And then uh, Eternal Retaliation, which will reduce the cooldown. Not terrible. Not terrible. Oh, get out of there. That's right. Oh, ho. And then we're going to pop that, because we don't want to take damage. And then we're going to let Nova get in here. And try and keep them. So we're going to keep them blinded. Blinded by the light. And we get another talent. Um, I tend to go with uh, the Crusade. Marches on. Uh, just because, why not? You know? Uh, come on, focus, 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 focus. Alright, excellent. I like that. And double kills. Now we just want to take out their tank. And we'll take out their healer. So there we go. Excellent. That's some good, strong teamwork right there. Now we're up two curses. Or, or two, two tributes. I'm all, oh, no, 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 no. We want to pick that up. Yeah. Now we want to hearts back. Okay. <laughs> and we have quick, quickly got out of this lane phase. Otherwise, you can go with Conviction, which will increase your movement speed. Really giving you an ability to chase down a little bit better, which you can do. I mean, that you, I don't. I think that's a viable option. But as a strong tank, I think that Crusade March is probably your best option to really increase your survivability. Battle momentum will reduce your basic abilities, um, but whether I don't think that's going to be good enough to necessarily warrant taking it because, haha, man, you're unstoppable. Nope. There you go. Come on. Come on, let's kill the tank. 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 No. Okay. There we go. Well, I'll take a DPS. I'll take a DPS. I'll take a DPS, why not? And we are two levels ahead, really marching towards that heroic ability. So, that's how you kind of get a player. You know, use it to mitigate, try and get in the way of everyone else. Oh, curse time! Woohoo! So, I think we all have, we have all lanes pretty much pretty well backed up, and then... Eh, you aren't going to make it to the wall, baby. Oh! Hit it just in time. Okay, well, that's fine. We're just gonna try and crash in here. Hopefully we can get our uh There we go. Come on there, excellent. I like it. I like it. I like it? I like it. That's fine, bring me closer. I don't care. Come on, triple tapper. Oh, no, oh, damn. So I'm gonna go with falling sword just because I like to crash the party. Kinda make it old school ETC style without the stun, but still pretty good. And we are four levels ahead now, so we are really cleaning up. May have to actually go into a little bit, uh, uh, go into the actual, what's it called? Into the post game to try and get to all the actual talents. Uh, but that's okay. I think talents now are a little bit overrated. Give in. Whee! Oh, you didn't expect me, did you? <laughs> Okay, now we probably need a retreat so that we don't get overextended. And we might get overextended, but that's okay. They retreated. They retreated. Well enough, anyway. Let's blind them and then fall back. And we may have to sacrifice a Nova. That's okay. So, but you can kind of see the way that she has to kind of brawl. Pulls people towards her with a condemn. Punish them so that they can't escape. And um, then, you know, try and use uh, shield glare in the middle of everything. Just to make sure that you get some work done. 
Okay, they're dead. Well, we got that. We got that. So we want to go back towards the front. No, sort of. Maybe go down to Rhaegar. Yeah, we're going. We're going. Oh, nice, Nova, stealing the camp. And pull him towards me. And try and take this guy over. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> Focus on me. Focus on me. That's it. okay. There we go. Now we got the camp. And Sylvanas falls because Illidan was doing some great cleanup work there. I like it. Oh, what else could we have gone to? Blessed Shield. Yeah, we already talked about that. Nah, Shield Glare. Who cares? I mean, you could go with that if you go full Shield Glare, but. I mean, don't run stuff with her just to expect extra damage. I like to go with the survivability kind of thing. <laughs> oh, silly. Silly Zero Tool. Um, again, going with the, the overall shield. And then, whee! And then, come over here! <laughs> yep, nope. And wipe. Wipe city. There we go. Excellent. Now we need to get out of there because we are not strong enough to take that. We don't have enough peoples. That's okay. Oh, no, we didn't get them. Oh, we were still honest. Damn. Oh, well. Did pretty well. But we still have a long enough death timer on them to really make a huge dent. I don't want to go down there. Oh, nope. She's hard. She hearts back. Okay. Let's head to the tribute as a good team should. Everyone needs to head out there, make a strong presence, and get some stuff done. Uh, spell shield's pretty run of the mill. Burning rage, meh. For her, I mean, again, not about doing damage. It's about holding your own, making sure that you can actually get some some uh, stuff taken care of. You want to be a big target, and to be a big target, you have to be able to absorb a lot of damage. Come on, I'm gonna try. Mm, nope, doesn't look like I got that. Wow, 20 kills already. Jeez. <laughs> no one on my team has died. <laughs> oh, it's it's marvelous. Um, yeah. So I mean, you can see the theme, and she's a strong tank, particularly when supported by a really good team balance. And we have a really good balance team here. I'm actually going for the, the jugular here. Oh no! I walked into the root. Nah, I could have used my my iron skin, but I figured save it for something big and bad. See if we can't pull the double Johanna. And two people. Uh, three people. Zeratul is just kind of working us. Okay. Let's not give him a reason. I want to try and lengthen this game. Someone kind of hang back. I'm, uh, oh, they got our first, their first kill. That's okay. That's okay. Oh, tribute's out. Tribute's out. Let's go towards the tribute. Towards the tribute. Of course, at this rate, we'll probably make it down there ourselves and just be the only people. Then we can go help out that lane. Because that lane is under attack. Right. So. We're doing good. We're doing good. We got a huge... Although our level advantage is decreasing. Oh, you whore. You whore. Get him, Rainer. Suck it to him. Alright. We don't want to lengthen it too much because you don't want to lose. But, <laughs> you know. Because I've had that happen to me before, too. We're just like, ah, oh, we'll just dick around for a little while. And then, nope. Too much, and someone does something stupid, and then you end up you know, just sucking wind, and that's never good. Okay, who died? Not us. Excellent. Nova's on a mission to just just hunt people down and play cheap. I like that. I like a Nova that plays that way. Works out for the team for the most part. I mean, they still need to support the group fights, but you, know, you really shouldn't be out there trying to uh, trying to you know hold a lane necessarily because that's just not smart as Nova come on level 16 we want a 16 come on 16 we want a 16 all right a whole Zeratul and for a world of oh Zeratul you bastard come on oh I got black arrow too Woohoo! Got him. Alright, 16. Um, so Holy Renewal is not a bad option. Um, Blessed Hammer. If you want to do that, again, more damage. Iron Skin causes damage to taken to increase movement speed, so you can go with that. If you so desire. 
I tend to go with uh, the shield uh, holy renewal. <laughs> Imposing presence not a bad idea. It's a good overall all-around tanky uh, kind of option to go with. Um, I like holy renewal just because it, it gives you this ability to kind of uh, show yourself during a fight to you know kind of really come back when you're in the larger group areas um, to really kind of just be like, okay, there we go. Now we get some help. I like to I like to run with that one. Uh, of course, the one downside to all this is that uh, her iron skin still uses mana. Uh oh, uh oh, we need to go help out. Need to go help out. Need to go help out. Oh wow, Ranger just smoked him. Okay, tribute time, and this might be game, so you know, we'll have to look at the end result. Um, for the level 20, you can go Heaven's Fury, which will bombard the enemies with holy bolts. That does okay. It's not a game changer. It does a little more damage. Uh, radiating Faith, uh, a nice way to increase your overall ability if you decide to go with the Blessed Shield. Um, indestructible, that's a great option. I tend to go with that just because of how strong it is. And it really gives your enemies something to think about. Um, uh oh, looks like he's metamorphosizing. I got arrowed. Okay. Uh, boo! <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. Ah, excellent. And then Lee Lee came in to save AJ. So, and then Storm Shield your standard sort of Storm Shieldy kind of you know shield everyone up. Not a bad option if you got a lot of AOE on your on the against you. But uh, I, I tend to go with Indestructible just because it really does give you a, a great ability to kind of stay alive towards the end. Not to mention, if you go with your, your Regeneration Master, it gives you this brief period of time to kind of gain some more health back. Not a lot, but a, a decent amount of time. Because by the time you get to that level 24, or sorry, level 20, you've, you've racked up a fair amount of actual overall life. But that was a good way, particularly in a win scenario. Uh, she plays a little bit differently when she's behind because, you know, if the enemy team has uh, a significant level advantage over you you're not just going to be able to take those hits quite as easily and just kind of shrug them off. I was able to do that pretty well. I never really came all that close to dying but we had really good team support. Overall only one team death. But I was in there, you know, 34 kills so I was, I was always around something. Didn't have the highest XP contribution. That was Rainer just pushing the lane and really focusing down and uh, poking our um, enemies pretty well. But that's a nice dominating performance, 38 and 1, 34 to and 0 for me. So to review, I went with a really tank-centric build uh, that focuses on trying to max maximize your health and um, uh, survivability. So regeneration master to give you more uh, overall passive health, so that you can kind of go in and out of fights if you have to, which would be important if you're going to be at a lower level than your opponents. Uh, amplified healing to intensify that as well as make your healer's job a little bit easier. The crusade marches on so that you can continue to increase your mitigation, uh, allow you to be um, immune to the roots, snares, and other disabling effects. Falling sword, although I didn't necessarily use it, that gives you a little bit of mobility. So if you are in a you know, no-win scenario, you can kind of use that to hop over a barrier uh, or it really kind of distracts the enemy team. And when they see that sort of circle hovering over them, and they'll scatter and they will stop focusing their fire on the enemy usually. Um, but it, I love I like that over um, the Blessed Shield. Hold your ground, which increases your uh, your trade's ability, so you get a little more bang for your buck since you're already spending mana on it. Um, and then reduces the cooldown, which I think is the most. I'm sorry, if it's destroyed, it reduces the cooldown, which I think is the most important thing. So that coupled with the Crusade marches on, really uh, allows you to. Um, uh, try and uh, use it as much as possible during a fight and uh, create and increase its uptime and holy renewal increases your overall health so this is all focused on healing maximizing your health allowing you to sustain during a battle making your healers job a little bit easier so they can focus on um, you know your uh, damage dealers and other mitigators and then I would have gone with the um, uh, probably the indestructible to give me that last breath uh, in case I do hit zero Gives me a chance to recover since it's health centric and it uh, allows you to stay alive just a wee bit longer uh, to do just a little bit more um, movement against the enemy team. But that's a, a nice little look at uh, Johanna and it'll wrap things up for us today. Um, so, of course, I uh, appreciate any likes, favorites, or subscribe to the channel. 
please feel free to leave any comments or message me directly. Um, and don't forget to suggest a hero for our next episode. This has been DSNUF15. Thanks for watching, and we'll try and do better next time. Although I don't really know how we could do better. I mean, come on, 34-0. Just wipe the floor with them.